Hello friends, this is Rishu Gupta once again and today we'll be reviewing So uh, that was a really really pure imitation of the Stranger Things opening theme uh, So you guess it right guys, today we'll be uh, talking about Netflix uh, Stranger Things season 3 So guys, this was uh, uh, one of the most awaited episodes for me, uh, sorry seasons for me personally uh, Because I have been a big fan of Stranger Things uh, right from season 1 So season 1 was great, season 2 was good as well A bit unevenly paced but definitely a good season And I'm really really happy to report that season 3 is as amazing or probably even better so uh, guys, uh, what I I loved about season uh, 3 was that it was extremely well paced. Uh, there wasn't a moment, uh, uh, you know, while watching this particular season that I felt that, uh, you know, things should move on or they're getting too slow or they're getting too boring. Uh, this was something that happened in season 2. So so in, in this particular season, it was such a breeze. I, and especially the first episode. I remember when I just uh, started watching the first episode, I, I didn't even realize that 15 minutes were over. So uh, that, that was the kind of pacing that it had. That was the kind Kind of easing into uh, 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 that that the show provided uh, uh, for the viewer. So I really really enjoyed this season. I must say that uh, the 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 Duff brothers have uh, done a great job in, in in creating another gripping uh, you know tale of horror and thrill and stuff like that. So guys, uh, coming to the strong points of this particular season, uh, one is definitely the story. Uh, I was a bit scared uh, about what are they going to do with the story because there's only so much you can do with you know the same up upside down the same set of core characters the kids and the same demagogue uh, so the same monster but they have done it pretty well so so again spoiler alert guys so if you have not seen the season probably you want to log off this video so uh, so again so the, the idea that the mind flare was you know uh, assembling itself using humans and animals rats particularly and you know creating another monster for for the for for, for the uh, you know gang to fight uh, was pretty intriguing definitely and and add to the that the plot of the russians you know building a secret facility uh, 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 you know, uh, underneath Hawkins, and uh, trying to open the uh, door that was sealed by L. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, the, the the definitely the idea was good. The execution. Yeah, I, I would say, so again, there are a few things that I didn't agree with, but that, that, that does not, uh, you know, mean that the season was not good. We'll, we'll get to that. But uh, the, the, the plot was solid. And uh, this, the entire uh, way, the, the way this uh, season went on reminded me a lot of the Dan Brown novel. So, in, in, uh, so again, if, for people who are, no, who are not familiar with Dan Brown's style of writing, uh, the, the guy who wrote uh, Da Vinci Code and uh, many, many blockbuster novels. Uh, so, so there are a lot of, uh, you know, themes themes that are running in parallel there are a lot of plots that are running in parallel and towards the end they come together and you know the climax happens so this was very 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 similar to that so so there were many many plots that were running parallelly there was the plot of you know uh, robin the new character steve and dustin investigating the russian facility there was a plot of hop and joyce investigating you know uh, uh, trying to get some clues on what's happening in hawkins there was the original gang which consisted of l who were trying to do their own research about what's happening uh, and and again so there was another couple uh, jonathan and uh, nancy who were uh, working at hawkins post and they were again conducting their own invest investigation so so all of these stories were running in parallel and towards the end they converged and you know the big climax happened so it, it, it was really really good so I, I must admit even though there were a few things that uh, where, where you might think that okay this is taking it too far or this is getting a bit silly yes that those were a few thoughts that came to my mind but again uh, nowhere did it affect my interest or my uh, sense of entertainment while watching this particular season so yeah all in all a great season towards the end so uh, something that I loved about this particular season was the end the end End was amazing the final episode was a great great payoff uh, the way it ended it had a lot of emotions so again this is spoiler full review so I can just reveal that uh, Hopper died so I was not expecting to get emotional because Hopper was dying but then I realized that he was one of the most fleshed out characters in this season you know he he, 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 he tried to date Joyce he tried to care for L. he tried to protect L from the boys and the relationships he tried to protect uh, you know Joyce 
you know he wanted uh, joyce and uh, her family to feel like hawkins could be their home so there was there were a lot of layers to this particular character even though he was a brute uh, even though he was shown as you know this big guy with you know wielding a gun and you know just kicking asses but i felt that he was a great great character so so that's something i loved uh, the finale where hopper died and again so the redemption arc of billy so billy was this big bad guy in the last season in this season uh, you know he was a bad guy but again he kind of redeeming himself he kind of protecting l at the end and you know dying again was, was a bit fitting and was a good uh, you know good end to that particular character so the finale was great guys and again they have left the door open for season 4 uh, i i am not sure what are they going to do in season 4 because there is a, a lot that has already been explored uh, explored when it comes to demagogon and and uh, the monster and the kids but let's see and they have done a good job for three seasons i'm sure they can do another so so again so the, uh, Uh, the post credit scene so i my post credit scenes have become a, a ritual since marvel started a trend so in the post credit scene you uh, have, you are being kind of given a hint uh, that hopper is alive when you know the guard says no no not the american so uh, uh, maybe hopper is alive let's see and we will explore that in season 4 so all in all a great season guys there were a few moments that definitely i should uh, you know few few moments and a few characters that i think i should definitely uh, you know touch upon one is the character of hopper as i already mentioned it is really well fleshed out and is a great character in the show uh, second is a new character that has been added to the list which is robin so uh, robin was kind of annoying at the beginning but towards the end of the show you realize that she is adding some value she is adding some depth to the story uh, so again she is a first Uh, you know gay character in the uh In the in, in Stranger Things, I guess. So I think that was a bold step, and I think that is a welcome step. Uh, and again, the the relationship between Robin and Steve was pretty uh, good. I think you know initially I was unable to understand that why is she so uh, you know uh, rude to uh, Steve. But then you realize that because of Steve, she you know Steve was a jerk in uh, uh, school. So probably the the lingering uh, uh, feelings about Steve were you know uh, making her behave that way. So yeah, I guess that 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 relationship was great. Even though the moment uh, you know uh, the the moment that they had in the you know. Uh, restroom i guess after they puked and they kind of confess their feelings to one another you know uh, again that so and robin coming out at that point in time so that was sweet i, I think that was definitely sweet uh, another moment that i think was extremely uh, i mean uh, it was it was a good one i mean uh, at, so in the, in the finale episode the, the, the dustin and suzy uh, his his girlfriend break into the song uh, on radio when they were just communicating it, i mean uh, when you think about it logically it was really not that great people might have died in that song and dance routine not dance but song routine uh, but still it it provided a break for you to just stop and uh, absorb what was happening you know uh, and, and they were just singing and everyone was hearing them on the radio uh, so it was a good moment i don't know it it brought a smile to my face it 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 it, it made me feel good uh, in general so that was a great moment in, in in there so yeah i mean a couple of moments really really did stand out especially in the finale even uh, you know hopper dying and uh, billy sacrificing himself to protect l all of that was pretty great i think so yeah i enjoyed the finale quite a bit so that was a good one so yeah th- these few moments uh, robin as a character hopper as a character uh, really added some depth and again so how can i not mention alexi alexi right sorry alexi so he was such a lovable character so you know uh, just smiling and all smiles are uh, you know having slurpees and you know watching cartoons and just you know helping our heroes out so he was a great character obviously my heart broke when he was killed so uh, again so his killing brings me to the an- uh, another character which was the terminator so i don't know whether they have a name for him but yeah i call him the terminator so he actually even looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he he was this tall, big, mean guy who was out to kill our friends. Uh, you know, the the core gang, Hopper, and all of those people. So uh, yeah, he was a great character. I mean, every one every time he showed up on screen, you knew he meant business. So so that that was a great character. I really loved that character. Uh, I think he died at the end, right? Yeah, yeah he did die. So uh, yeah, all in all, it's a f- few great characters, a few great moments, a fitting finale, a great plot. All all in all, I really enjoyed the season. I'm really happy that Netflix has delivered once again. So I hope season four is great. 
it i think i don't know that it's been, it has been announced or not but it, if, if if it has been announced i'm sh- sure they you know uh, i i hope rather that they do a great job so guys that was my review of stranger things uh, season 3 uh, tell me your comments what did you think did you enjoy the show and uh, i'll i'll be posting probably a few other videos about you know going in detail of, of, uh, about a few characters and moments uh, so let's hope that happens uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video if you do like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and we can talk about a lot many things in the future thank you so much